Approximately 6.30 this evening, officers responded to a, a local downtown hotel um, that had a male inside threatening security guards. The um, security called the police department um, after the male had threatened them with an object inside and it was acting uh, strange. Officers responded to the scene and uh, took the male into custody without incident. After that interaction at the hotel, the officers transported the male to the San Diego Police Department headquarters for uh, processing. He was under arrest. Um, while the male was inside the, the back seat of the patrol car, looks like he slipped the handcuffs off and then was able to pull a plexiglass barrier, break a plexiglass barrier between the back seat and the trunk area of the SUV. Um, one of the officers looks like he has a, had a, um, a backpack in the back seat of that SUV. Uh, the male was able to grab the backpack and access it where the officer stored a, um, an, a secondary weapon, a handgun. Then the male um, eventually had, was able to grab the handgun and bring it into the rear of the police car. The officers saw that the male, um, they went to go check on him and saw that the male was armed and they, had, they ended up backing up, drawing their handguns and backing up. It was during that time that the, the male presented the handgun, the officers felt threatened and at least three officers fired at least one round, striking the male as he was seated in the, in the vehicle. Um, the male still had the weapon on him, the, um, and uh, the uh, officers were still in their positions. A canine uh, was deployed. The canine uh, was able to bite the, uh, bite the suspect, and the officers went in and um, were able to handcuff the, the subject safely um, were, um, and then take him into custody. Uh, immediate, immediate medical aid was uh, given to the male, um, and at that point, uh, he was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Um, it, we're still trying, it's early on in the investigation, we're still trying to determine whether or not the male actually fired around out at the officers in their position. Um, and um, like any officer-involved shooting, the homicide team uh, will be investigating this, this officer-involved shooting. Um, and we'll be presenting our findings to the district attorney's office, the FBI office, and the U.S. attorney will also be monitoring this investigation. Uh